Gang, gang, gang. I know what the fuck is going on. A couple of important announcements. The Spaceman podcast is going to be out shortly after this video. Number two, I played this beat in my live on IG. I usually go there just to chop it up and have conversations with y'all. So if y'all not following me, go ahead and do that. And number three, if you're not part of the Discord, you're going to be missing out because I'm going to attempt to break a world record for the most producers on one beat. The link is going to be down in the description from my IG for the Discord for all that. Let's get straight into this beat. All right, so we're going to start off in Hive and I'm going to find maybe like a nice little bass. I found this bass is called EH House Novel and we're going to start off with stupid, stupid simple bass line um, that usually kind of gives me a nice foundation to start off a melody. We can go... There we go. And now we can just repeat that over. And then actually let's uh let's throw the second half up an octave. This can be used as a transition. And then maybe some changes over here. Then I'm gonna open up serum and I'm going back to this hysteria bank because it's still fire. And this is not a paid promotion, I swear to God. They sent me the bank, I like the bank, so I'm gonna show some love. You feel me? It's that simple. Let's go ahead and clone this. Oh wait, this is the same, okay. We can actually use the same bass sound as like a lead, but let me add some chorus in here, change it to BPM. And that's fine right there. Maybe we can add some notes under here. Oh, that's like a nice little slide. Oh, that's interesting. That's cool. I'll take that. Here's also another tip that I like to do. Whenever I come up with a pattern that I like, what I like to do is break up the pattern and just use different parts with different instruments. So for example, I'm just going to take this last little slide here and we're going to cut that out. So let's take a listen to what that sounds like. We can actually find a different sound for that. I like that one. That's kind of cool. I want to add some effects on this. Let's go to Effectrix. Ooh. That little stutter right there. That's fire. I think we can go up an octave though. Mm. Wait, what if we put them both on the same mixer track? Mm. What if we go down an octave? note lower yeah that's fire to me this is the most exciting part about making music it's like a puzzle bro you just throwing random pieces together and whatever you see fit fits and then you just like let it be delirious serum bank by uh nawaj i'm not sure how you pronounce that and let's try to find something that we like here oh that's fire maybe you cut it short Hey, oh, that's a nice little, hold on. Repeat that again? Hold on. What you said? Ooh. I'm getting hype. The sliding is kind of messing it up. So let's take that part down. Yup. And then let's add just one note on the right side over here just to kind of complete this. Shout out to my guy, Mad Max, vocal chops. Let's throw this in here, stretch this out like I do my girl. Let's pitch this up. Too much, down. Mm. Get a little bouncy, bounciness. I'm gonna split my channel and we're gonna go ahead and uh, arrange this sample so, you know, it don't get boring. So shout out to my guy Noah for this trick. When you're stemming out your samples, to make it easier for yourself so that the reverb from one instrument doesn't bleed onto the next, just render out each sample by itself and pretty much you have them all right here. I'm gonna take out this lead. I'm gonna take out secondary bass, an, an octave lower, just so that we have a more sort of calm down version of the sample. So we transition from this. 
I forgot where I heard it, but they say if you know the sample is good when you reverse it and it still sounds good. We're gonna see what this sounds like reversed because that could be another section for the sample. Sounds a little more emotional for some reason. Ooh. Ooh. That's fire. Now we can get all this shit out the fucking way. Here's what we're gonna do. Shout out to my guy, Onan Hunnit, for this trick. I'm gonna take this little perk slash hi-hat. I'm gonna delete all of the consistent notes and I'm only gonna leave the rolls in. And what this little perk is gonna do is pretty much, it's gonna act as like a hi-hat accent of some sort. Maybe put this a little up and then we can also pan these maybe a little bit to the right, a little bit to the left. I'm also gonna take this and throw one of my perk presets on there, which consists of Looperator and some effect rack to move it around. These hi-hats are a little bit too consistent, so I'm gonna... There we go. What if I just copy this, bring this an octave lower, and then change all these to slides? That's pretty interesting. Now we just need to add this 808. Hey. Fire. That's fire. But I don't know. I feel like I want to change the 808. There we go. Mm -hmm. Put the volume up on that. Make sure it's busting. All right, that's busting too much. Cut itself, but instead of doing the little Roddy Rich uh, reverse 808 right here. We can do sort of a triangle and make it sound like a fucking UFO. Fire. And that's it. I'm pretty much done. If you want to listen to the full beat, I'm dropping it on my beat channel. Links in the description. And that's it. I'm out of here.